Hey, today I'm hiding underneath a tree because it's a hot summer day and I'm trying to keep cool while we're doing this workout. And again, I'm Steph from stephendel.com and I'm gonna show you a summer slim workout. is about making everything fun and enjoying what you're doing and really mixing things up. You never wanna do the same thing twice. So in this Summer Slim workout, this is gonna show you a style of working out I like to do where we're mixing different muscle groups, we're working different muscle groups at the same time and mixing that with cardio. So we're getting our heart rate up and it is like the ultimate burn. You're burning fat and you're feeling great. So how about a postable quote? Something that you can keep in mind when you're doing this workout that kind of gets you to the next level and something that you can post up on Facebook or Instagram too. So, what you want to remember is that the most important weight loss muscle is the brain. Change the mind, change the body. You hear me talk about this all the time and weight loss and fitness is so much more than just working your body and eating the right foods. It's also this huge other component that most people never even talk about that I think might be the most important thing and that's your mindset. All right, so let's bring it over to the mat for our first move. Okay, so the first exercise in this workout is gonna be a compound move, so we're working two muscle groups at once. So we're lunging to the front, and at the same time, raising our arms forward. Now, the modification for this, you can do it without weight, but then, of course, you always wanna work up to a weighted lunge. And what I'm using is seven pounds. Uh, that's challenging for me, so use something that feels a little difficult when you're doing these. So we're just gonna isolate that right leg and then we'll switch over to the left leg after we do a cardio burst. Let's shoot for three more. So three, make sure you're lifting those arms right above your head. Two, good job. And one, perfect. We're gonna go straight out of that strength move and right into some cardio. 30 seconds of jump rope with high knees. If you have a jump rope, you can use it. Feel free to grab it. But I just wanna show you that a lot of these moves can be done without equipment and you can still get a great workout. 10 seconds, get those knees up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, grab your weights again. You know this move already. We're just doing it on the other side, the left side. And we're gonna lunge to the front while lifting our arms straight up. Now you notice that we're working the arms and the legs at the same time. So what that's gonna do is gonna get the heart rate up and help you burn fat more efficiently, which will help you get fitter faster. So how about four more of these? Let's go down this, it'll be four. We're working the arms like crazy. We're working the triceps, biceps, shoulders, all those little muscles that when you tone them up, they really make a difference. Great job on that last one. Okay, get ready. We're gonna throw another cardio burst in there. These are star jumps. As you squat down, you wanna bring your hands towards the ground and then do an explosive jump upward. This type of exercise is called plyometrics or jump training, where the goal is to both increase your strength and your power. So let's give this some explosive bursts of energy, especially right now, we're getting towards the end of it. So make sure you're digging really deep right now and finding that extra strength that you have and utilizing it. Okay, we're gonna go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. So come on down to the mat and no workout video by me would ever be complete without a really great ab move. 
You've seen this move before, but not like this. We're adding a right and left tuck, and we're also walking it up to engage our hamstrings at the top as well. So slowly walk it out. You're gonna get into plank position. Come down on one arm, then the other. Come back up, tuck right, tuck left, walk it back up, and then you wanna squeeze your glutes at the top, almost like you're coming up from a squat or a deadlift. This is a full body move. You're literally hitting every muscle in your body right now. I really want this move to be that takeaway for you. You know, just do it three rounds. It should only take you about 15 minutes and then you're done for the day. At least you got out there and moved a little bit. Now, of course, if you have the time, I want you to complete this full workout. That's when you're really gonna see epic results. But you just wanna make sure that you're getting out there each and every day and doing a little bit of something. It doesn't have to be a lot. Trust me, it all adds up when you become consistent with your workouts. So let's talk about your form. You wanna make sure that your abs are engaged the entire time. So as you come down, legs are straight while you're coming down into plank position. Now you're gonna come onto your forearms and then lift yourself back up the whole time you're staying in plank position, doing a tuck to each side and then keeping those legs straight as you come back up and then squeezing your glutes, the backs of your thighs as you come up. You're already down to the last three. These are super challenging, so I'm really proud of you for pushing through this as far as you've come already, and I know that you have these last three in you. And it's already, you're already two and a half now. So tuck, and then walk it up. You're already down to two, just two left. Remember our quote that the most important muscle in the body is the brain? Now is time to remind your brain that you only have two left and that you are capable of doing this. And as much as it might hurt, don't forget to have fun with this. This is not a chore, this isn't work. This is something that you chose to do. And nobody said that you can't laugh or smile while you're working out. It's time to make this one your best one. Come on down to your elbows, back up onto your hands. Give me a tuck, give me another tuck to the other side, walk it up, and don't forget to squeeze out the top for the last part. Boom, yes. Ooh, was that move intense or what? We're gonna take a five second breather right now. We got five, four, three, two, and now let's jump right back into it. You came to this workout to get results. So let's do it. Now we're gonna jump back into another cardio move. Yeah, it's a workout move, but I think these are pretty fun because you get to jump all over the place. For these, try and envision a big square that's in front of you, and you're gonna jump to each corner of the square. So jump to the front and squat, jump to the left, squat down, jump to the back, squat. Keep, watch your balance, these can be a little tricky and jump to the right and squat down. Seriously, how fun are these? And how much can you feel it in your legs as you're doing them? If you have to stop and take a breather on these, that's okay, but remember that you're always working up higher and higher. You wanna be able to do these completely without stopping. And sometimes when I'm doing them, I'm having so much fun that I sort of forget to even squat. So make sure that that's at the forefront of your mind. As you jump each time, you're squatting down. Okay, let's shoot for five more seconds of these. Finish strong, five. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, you made it to the last move. So come down to what I call crab position. This is gonna take a little balance to so make sure you get yourself centered. So drop your hips and extend your right arm to touch your left foot. Basically, you're going for opposites here. This is another awesome full body move. You're working your triceps, that jiggly arm muscle. You're working your legs, back, and abs. And this is a little different style, this workout video, than the ones that I've done before, but I wanna show you that you gotta have a mix and a wide variety of the different things that you do. So let's shoot for three more of these. Okay, one, two, and make this the best one that you got. Three, nice. Woo, we're done, good job. I am seriously sweating and I think that you probably are too if you did that workout with me. What I want you to do now is go on to Facebook or Instagram and check in with me. Let me know that you just did this workout. And by doing that, you can also grab some extra motivation and some thumbs ups from your teammates too. And if you're checking in on Instagram, make sure you use the hashtag SHSummerChallenge. So man, the summer challenge is wrapping up. This is our last video of the challenge. And I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. I put a lot of love 
and heart and soul into these videos. So I really hope that they were able to give you some results and I hope that it's something that you can continue to use on a weekly basis. And you can also go on to stephhandle.com for all of the resources that we used in the summer challenge, the weekly fitness schedules, the workouts, the recipes, everything that we did. And I am not gonna leave you hanging. There is more to come. I'm working on Fit and Fearless University right now and enrollment's gonna be very, very soon. You'll have free training videos that give you all kinds of really great goodies and information on some of that mindset stuff we talked about and workouts in general. So that's coming up for Fit and Fearless and I'll see you soon. Make sure and stop over on the Facebook page and just say hello. I'd love to meet you.